All right, hey everybody. Let me get everything set up. I'm just about ready here. Let's see. Let me refresh again. All right. Awesome. Looks good. All right. Hello, hello. This is going to be such an amazing dinner. I am super excited. First of all, I have to say happy birthday, Angela. That is awesome. So yesterday was my grandma's birthday, and then tomorrow is my mom's birthday. So it's just full of birthdays. That is awesome. All right. I'm waiting for everything to get set up here. Maggie, we are feeling so much better. My, I just had a bad cold is all it was, um, but we are completely better now. Darlene, hey, and Kathy, all right. So we are cooking cracked chicken. I've got most of everything set up. This is a super easy recipe, and I've got the link down below if you all want to try it for yourselves later. Um, so I've got chicken already in this slow cooker. Let me pull it out here so I can show you what we're dealing with here. So I already cooked it. It's already cooked and shredded, and it's just waiting to get the sauce and everything else put in. So that's what we're working with. I used my slow cooker for the chicken, but you can use whatever. I mean, this is technically an instant pot, so you could use the instant pot to cook your chicken or you could bake it. However you want to cook it, it was just much easier for me to cook it in my slow cooker. So yes. And then I have a bunch of other things already made. I have quinoa already that's in here. And then I've got some zucchini in the oven right now that's going to go with it. So let me get all of this set up. So I've got the chicken. I'm going to make a homemade ranch sauce. Now, typically, cracked chicken, I mean, you can make cracked chicken in a lot of ways, but one of the more popular ways to make it is with cream cheese. And I've seen that before, too. This is a much more higher protein than the than the one with cream cheese because I'm not using cream cheese. I am using Greek yogurt and cottage cheese to kind of up the protein intake. I have made this before, Carrie. It is amazing and you guys are gonna love it. So yes, instead of the cream cheese, I'm using Greek yogurt and cottage cheese. I'm putting it in my little blender to kind of blend it all up because you know cottage cheese is a little bit on the the chunky side maybe and you don't necessarily have to blend it together but if you don't like the texture of cottage cheese then blending it is okay so i've got some plain non-fat greek yogurt i just need a fourth cup of that and then i need about three fourths cup of cottage cheese and then I'm going to blend all of that together with a bunch of spices. Um, give me a second and I can read them. All right, so I've got the Greek yogurt. So I also have some garlic powder, onion powder. I have parsley, dill, and pepper. If you don't have any of these seasonings, I mean, if you just want to grab a packet of ranch seasoning, that would totally be fine. It would work as well. So I've got three fourths cup of cottage cheese and that will go in there as well. I'm using the low fat, which is the 1%, but if you typically use like the 4%, 2%, whatever, it'll still work. I, you probably know me, I only eat the Aldi brand cottage cheese because that, it just tastes the best to me. All the other brands have like a sweet taste to it and it's really, really gross. So there is that. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Yes, awesome. Yeah, you've never cooked with cottage cheese. You can also use cottage cheese in place of ricotta like in a lasagna recipe or some sort of a pasta recipe. I've done that before too, and it is pretty good. So after I add all of these, 
I'm just going to blend it for just a couple seconds and then I'll add it to the instant pot. And what I'm going to do is put it on the saute setting. I was going to put it in a pot and do it that way, but I figure since I already have the chicken inside the instant pot, I may as well reuse that and just use the saute function. So there's that. Then I got parsley in here. I think I've got it all. Let's see. Garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, parsley, dill. Yes. So this is a, it's a magic bullet. This is one of these cute little ones. I tend to use these for my smoothies too, but this is perfect for using in one of these. Let me turn it on. All right, this is gonna be kind of loud. I'm gonna try to cover my microphone here. I'm sorry. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too loud. There we go. So you don't have to blend it a whole lot. You're just kind of getting the, the right smooth consistency out of the cottage cheese. So this right here is just going in to the instant pot here with the chicken. And then I think I need to add a couple other things. I have to look and see whether I'm adding them now or at the very end. So the one bad thing about this little guy is that it's hard to get all of this stuff out of it but I think I got pretty much all of it. So we have that. And then I need to grab a spoon and stir it up. So I'll show you what it looks like before I turn on the saute function. It'll give you a good idea of what it will look like. Now I did not take out any of the water. So now that I'm stirring this in, it looks a little bit liquidous. And yeah, all right, I'll show you. Let's see. Because when I cook my chicken in the slow cooker, I usually add about a cup of water. And that's kind of what it looks like. You can see it is very liquidous, but I think it'll cook a little bit. And then uh, once it goes in the refrigerator and everything, it might soak up with the quinoa and it won't be as liquidous. Um, we'll see how this goes. All right. Before I turn this on, I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. Awesome. All right, it is currently snowing a little bit here in Dayton. It was snowing a little bit earlier, super cold though. Uh, what's on the menu for today? We we're making crack chicken. So let me plug this in real quick. Let me read the directions first before I do anything else. All right, so I need to add all right, shred the chicken I did, add the dressing mixture. Okay, so I also cooked up some turkey bacon beforehand. Turkey bacon is a little bit softer than regular bacon, so that's why it looks a little softer. So I need to break this into smaller pieces and add it into here. So you can make or use cracked chicken in many different ways. Um, so you could add it to sandwiches, maybe hamburger buns or something, and make it as a sandwich. You could add it as, onto a salad. That'd be really good for your protein. Or you could, um, I've seen somebody put it in like bell peppers and kind of eat them that way. But I am making a bowl out of these. So I've got the chicken. Um, I have quinoa in here. I've got zucchini in the oven and I also have some frozen broccoli I'm gonna put here in the microwave in a second. And now I'm going to put this on saute. Let's see. I need to add cheese too. I need to add one third cup of cheddar. All right. Yes, okay, I see a lot of talking about snow. <laughs> oh man, so not really snow related, but yesterday, Allison had the day off of school because of the cold weather. 
it started out as a two hour delay. So I got a text message at five, maybe around five, saying there was a two hour delay. And then maybe an hour later, I got another text from them saying, nope, school is canceled, which is fine. Um, I didn't have a whole lot planned. It just meant that Allison would have to go with me while I run some errands and I had to go to Mr. Max. So she went with me there. And gosh, yesterday just turned into a really busy day. But yes, they canceled school yesterday because of the cold. I think it was like six degrees or two degrees, but felt like negative six. And our school system has a lot of walkers, the people who walk to school, and they just wanted to keep the kids safe because that's a little bit too cold, <laughs> at least for us to be walking to school. So yeah, Monday and Wednesday off for weather, two hour delays. Yeah, I thought we would have a delay today, but thankfully uh, we did not. It was a regular day of school, which is good. Now this instant pot saute function it tends to heat up really quickly and it'll cook really fast. So I just wanna make sure that it doesn't get too hot, too burned. Sometimes it starts sticking to the bottom of the Instant Pot. All right, you've never had quinoa, is it good? Yes, quinoa is very good. Let me see if I can open this up and show you. Hold on a second. So I'm over my sickness, but I still kinda of like get a cough every so often from talking. Just one of those lingering effects, I guess. So this is what quinoa looks like. It is basically a grain, kind of like rice. I make this in my rice cooker. <coughs> Excuse me. And I put it on the white rice function. And it is very similar to rice in taste. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. All right. Of course, that would happen during a live session. Let me stick this in the microwave. All right. All right. No big deal. Just lingering side effects. Um, yes, you can use rice instead of quinoa. That is not a big deal. Um, I'm actually out of rice, so that's kind of why I use quinoa, quinoa instead. Hold on a second. All right, I promise I'm okay. I did Pio this morning, and when I when I teach Pio, I tend to yell a lot, or I, like I raise my voice, and so sometimes that kind of gets to me. Okay, you live close to Mr. Max. That is amazing. Yeah, we were just there yesterday. Grabbed a couple of things. Just mostly some chips and stuff. Okay. So since everything in here is already cooked, I'm basically just heating everything up. Um, so yeah, cracked chicken. This one, like I said, is really high in protein. It's got almost 40 grams of protein. And a typical daily diet has anywhere between 50 to like 100, 120 grams of protein per day that is super high in protein. <clears throat> um, so I use the turkey bacon, I use cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, I have regular cheddar cheese in here. I might go ahead and turn this off now, just because it is sufficiently warmed up. All right, um, so I have zucchini in the oven and the zucchini was something I had left over from a few days ago. And I wanted to make sure I used it up before it went bad. It originally was not on the menu, but my computer is not connecting to the internet. I think I'm still alive though. We're just having a fun time today, apparently. <laughs> All right, so that is off. The zucchini is about to come out of the oven. I also want to show you what I found. Um, I've been talking about this flash food app and I 
So I ordered a couple of things today that I'm going to pick up tomorrow, but I posted a picture the other day of all the stuff I got in a box. We got tons of fruit for like three fifty, dollars and um, oranges were part of it, as well as like some grapes and a huge mango. So with this, we are still, or we are going to be eating um, an orange to go with this, just to try and use it all up, because we got like nine oranges in that box. And I think I'm getting some more oranges tomorrow. Okay, so the zucchini is done. We'll pull that out. Have about two minutes on the broccoli. Am I still making banana bread? Uh, yes, and I am still um, freezing the bananas too. So let's see. Um, what should I do first? The broccoli is almost done. I may as well just start putting everything together. So what I plan on doing is turning this into a bowl. So I'll put eh, almost a cup of quinoa in here and then a nice big spoonful of this chicken. Now the recipe says it serves about four. Um, you can always double the recipe. A huge deal. I'm gonna try and get a spoonful here. Maybe a little bit of that sauce in there too. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll add some zucchini. The broccoli is almost done. And then we get to eat. And if you wanted to add like extra cheese to it too, you could certainly do that as well. I'm spilling everywhere. Okay. So there's that, I gotta wait for the broccoli. But okay, so far, this is what it looks like. This is amazing. So I always um, do try to do a protein, a carb, and some vegetables. So I'm getting all of that in there. Okay, how much do they charge for the flash food service? They don't charge a thing. And that is the beauty of flash food. So you open up the app, you look and see what stores are in your area and then they show pictures of what they have available right now. And then it will show the price it was selling for and they mark it down to 50% off. As far as I know, they don't charge any sort of fee. So you pay whatever it says. You go up to the store, the customer service, and they have a key that they, they use to open up the big fridge, look for your order, and they hand it to you. And it's as simple as that. So I am definitely taking advantage of that. And I'm going to try <laughs> reverse meal planning next week, which is a little bit terrifying to me um, because I'm a huge planner. And when I don't have a plan, I feel like everything goes wrong. But I think it might be an interesting challenge. I will say, though, that I've been... So I've been looking through the app for like a week and a half now, and I have not seen, oh, I, okay, I think I might have seen one box of vegetables, and that's it. They have plenty of boxes of fruit, and they've got like lots of meat. They have plenty of bakery items, uh, like, you know, cookies, cupcakes, that sort of thing, sometimes some bread, but besides that, like, no, they don't have many vegetables. So I'm going to have to maybe go look in their produce section to see if they have any vegetables that are marked down so I can use that for dinner that night or the next night. But holy cow, this is our bowl. It is huge as you can see. But this chicken, seriously, it is delicious. It might need, it might need a little bit of salt to it actually. Did it say to add salt? No, it did not. So yes, you should probably add a little bit of salt to that. But this is our dinner. We're going to have a nice huge orange to go with this. So that's how you make cracked chicken. The recipe is down below for you all to enjoy. I'm going to get the rest of it together for the family. We're going to go have some dinner. Enjoy your evening, everybody, and I will see you later.